Hey, it's Relly Girl. Welcome back to Fallout 4 in my little Nordhagen beach town. Look how nice this is looking. I just love it. So I was thinking about all these pack Brahmin that come in and, you know, the people that sell stuff. They don't have anywhere to stay. The borders of this place is pretty weird, so I'm just showing you kind of what it looks like. It doesn't run very nicely along this road. I thought it might be kind of cool to put something along that road. But I mean, look at this. There's bushes. There's stuff you really can't get rid of unless you use weird console commands. I don't know on Xbox. So maybe I'll just put a building right here. A cute little building for our pack Brahmin salespeople and the doctor. You know, there's a doctor that comes by. So I want to do a two part little building. Part of it is going to be shack style. And I think I like this roof. So I'm going to sit this out and just build on to it. Um, but I want to make sure I have it kind of even and going the right way. So I'm going to fix it a little here. And that's a little bit better. I'm not going to do any bigger than that. I want it to be a kind of a small building. And this side here, I'm thinking I'm going to probably just put like barn pieces on it. I think that would be kind of neat. A little bit taller on one side and shorter on the other. So I'll just set my floor in there. And this will be it. A one by two. Kind of like the building next door right there. So let's go ahead and get some walls on this thing. I'm going to do the barn. So I'll get over here to the barn stuff. And put a front door on. And where are you at? There you are. Door there. And then I'm going to make this like a little two-part cabin. So I'm going to have a door separating the two. So I'll snap that in there. That is great. That is the perfect height for that roof. That looks really good. Whoops. Back on this side, I think I'll do a window. And then a solid wall on the side here. That looks pretty good. I want to stick a roof on that before I forget about it. And I'll just go ahead and put a barn roof on there. So I have to decide what I want. I don't know if I want it to be that roof. Eh, I don't like that too much. Maybe this one. Which way do I want it to go? Try this way. Uh, no. Let's try it the other way. Maybe. I don't know. It's such a small little room. I'm not sure I like that. So I think I might go with that bigger angled roof. Let's see, it should be down here somewhere. I don't want that part on it though. Yeah, like that. Then I can extend this wall up a little bit. So I'll just find my half wall pieces here. Maybe that one. Yeah, I like that better. I'll get my little triangle pieces. One more. Whoop. And there we go. I like that. That's much better. I like how it makes the roof kind of angled down the same way. So that's pretty cool. We'll go with that. So... I'm thinking maybe right here I might do a little bit of a loft. I've done that in a couple of these. So for now I'll just drop in a barn floor right there. And I might change my mind later. We'll see. Okay. What I want to do now is probably build on the second side here. So we'll get to my wood walls for my shack. And I'm going to do flat pieces on this and I'm not going to do an outer door so I don't need to worry about that you don't have many flat walls to choose from so I'm just going to pick one of these do I want that on the front uh, I don't know if I want that one on the front so let's go with this we'll have like a little bit of a window And then this side here, let's pick that one that has the blue in it. 
But can you turn the blue inside? Let's see, that would be inside. Nope, it automatically pops outside, so I'm not going to worry about that. This side, we'll put this, whoop, we'll put that wall in because it's a little different. But it only wants to snap out straight, it looks like. It doesn't want to snap in there. Yeah. Okay, so let me just place this thing and then we'll do our little rug trick to get it in. I need to find a spot where I'm not going to select everything. Whoop, I don't want to get rid of you. I want to move you. There we go. That's a good spot. But I need this to be flatter. Maybe right here-ish. I think that'll work, probably. I don't get my little rug. Let's just use one of these this time. See if I got it close enough. Yeah, that's good. All right, so let's run over here and get this wall put in. Let's see, which way do I want to go? Whoops, that's not it. Here we go. All right, this will take me a minute to get this situated where I want it to go. That's the outer wall until we're outside. So we want to make sure we're kind of in here. Well, I'm not seeing any light. Hopefully I'm straight. Let's see. Ooh. Well, that looks good to me. We're going to go with that. I might just get rid of this rug. So I'll take this outside here and delete it. I don't need it. There. Look at that. That's kind of cool. I think that'll do. So I need to worry about getting my stairs on and my door. So let's just run over here to the wood stairs. Get some. I wish I could use those. I like them, but I think by the time I got it sunk in, it would be so far down. So I'll use this. It's not going to snap because of the door frame. And that one's just a little too big. So let's go with this one. Let's see if I can get it on here just by eyeballing it. Oh, that was really bad. Is that better? No, that's really bad too. Let's try maybe there. Oh, you have to step up. Well, I don't like that. You like step up and in. So I'm going to use the little post trick. So I got to run over here real quick and get my post because I've been using the little power glitch with it. And we're going to get this stair where I want it to go. Okay. It's probably going to do it for me. I just need to make sure the post is far enough out that it's not going to hit the wall. So I think I'm good. This is a bad angle, but I'm going to try it anyway. Let's see what we get. It's definitely lower. Let's try that. Woo! Yay! Hey, that's good enough for me. I'll go with it. I'm going to put a door on here, and I think I'm going to use a warehouse or a greenhouse door in the warehouse kit because I like that. That one's a little more broken with the glass, so I'm going to do that. Face it. I think it's going to face inward. Yeah, I think that'll work. Now, I'm not sure I like that wall up there. Oh, and this thingy I forgot. It's the quitting time siren. I found that in some of the miscellaneous stuff, so I stuck it there. Anyways, getting back to this window, I don't really like it. So I want to put this smaller window there, I think. The one that has the one pane in it instead of the whole way across. So I'm going to go grab that out of here and just replace it real quick. That one there. I like that. That's better. Whoop. There we go. Yeah, I like that a little bit better than the other window. Okay, we need some kind of an awning right here because I would like to put a little bathtub there for a second Brahmin. So I'm going to go over here to the warehouse floors and get this half floor I like. That's not very big and it won't stick out real far. I don't want it coming out over the road too much. So I'm going to use my little post glitch again. Get this thing in place because it won't snap because that's not, you know, warehouse or barn pieces. Let's see if I can pop this on here. Come on, 
I know you'll snap. Oh, here we go. That'll work. I'll just do it from this side. Select it all. And get it over here. This is where you have to eyeball it. And I think it's a good height there. You have to make sure that you're not going into the ground or it's not going to turn white on you. So that's a great height. You just have to get this straight where it's going to stay white. And I can't really tell, so I'm just kind of playing with it a little bit here. Back and forth. To see if I can get it straight. Okay. What did we do? Wow. That looks pretty darn good. I don't really want that post there, though, so I'm going to move that away. Oh, yeah. I'm happy with that, but I need to support this because it doesn't want to just hang there. So for this, I'm going to use the ball track miscellaneous and find those little double posts. They're kind of cool. Sometimes they work. They'll go under structures. Sometimes they won't. Like if it's too close to the ground, I'm not getting this in there. So we're going to eyeball it because it's not going to snap. Does that look pretty straight? Yeah. Oh, that's not bad at all. I could pull it back a little bit. No, it's not going to turn white, so I'll just leave it. And we're going to do the same on this side. Just put it out a little bit too. Well, I can't see. That's not good. Let's see if I can adjust it. Ugh. I don't know. I don't think I'm just going to be able to see. So, I'm just going to pretend I can see and put it in here there we go that's not bad I think I'm pretty sure it's straight so I think I'll get to decorating and as soon as I am done I will be right back Ta -da! it's not very pretty today there's our little Brahmin thing and here's our building look at it put a bathtub there out back here we've got the outhouse I've been forgetting to put those out, so I've got to add some around here. But let's take a look inside. So this first little room has sleeping bags. I got rid of that. I decided I didn't want to put in a loft. Look at the view. Very cool. Little window, so it brings light in here. There's the two little sleeping bags. Those will be for the security guys in here is kind of where I have the bunk beds and the bed here. This will be for the doctor or the guy that sells you stuff. A couple of them can sleep in here. Lockers and all. And then out here, a little bit of a better look at that. Pretty. Campfire and water there too. Nice little cute house. Not a very long build, but I hope you liked it. I'll see you all out here in the wasteland again soon. Bye.